I had just returned from the hospital. Five days earlier, I had delivered my first and only son, Griffin. I asked my husband to go out and get us something to eat, and by the time he returned, I had this horrible, unsettling feeling that started at the low of my back. And my husband said, Carrie, just had a baby, you're tired, go on upstairs and get some rest. And I did, I actually went upstairs, I laid down in my bed and closed my eyes. But I couldn't shake the sensation of what had just happened and how very wrong that felt. So I asked my husband to call 911. The cardiologist came and said, Mrs. Vincent, you sustained a massive heart attack. So I spent the next five painful days staring at Griffin's picture, which I had um, used medical tape to attach to my bed. And my parents um, would bring him to the hospital to visit me. Um, the nurses would strap me up with a bunch of portable equipment and wheel me down to the chapel, and I could hold him for like 20 minutes a day. And I would hold him and sob and sob and sob and sob and think, I'm so sorry. Heart disease is the number one risk to American women. It is the number one health threat to American women. And I just literally would wake up at night and think, how did this happen? Okay, so now I know that heart disease was my number one health threat. How did I not know that? How did I not know that back pain and nausea are symptoms of a heart attack? How did I not know that? Women Heart is a wonderful organization who also helped build on my knowledge to help me learn to live in my body and then help me talk to other women who have similar experiences and then how to encourage other women to take charge of their heart health.